this after years of talk, the vision for the Cuyahoga River in downtown Cleveland was unveiled today. And it's a $3.5 billion transformation turning parking lots and sections of industrial riverfront into a mixed-use development for the entire city to enjoy. News 5's John Kosick takes a closer look at what it could mean for Cleveland's future. The Cuyahoga River in downtown Cleveland is almost an afterthought as it sits roughly 100 feet below the city above. This plan, unveiled by Dan Gilbert's bedrock, changes that, converting the 35 acres of riverfront below an area stretching from Tower City to Gateway into a mixed-use oasis where people will be able to live, work, and play. There will be several outdoor cascading terraces connecting the city above to the river below with pocket parks at various levels. But one of the main links will come through a reimagined Tower City with the elimination of one of the levels that will create more of a marketplace feel as people walk down to the river. In other words, we'll be able to put stalls and kiosks and other things and create events and activities. So as people are going through Tower City and heading to that riverfront, it feels like one of these really grand uh, uh, boardwalk experiences. But enclosed. This part of the river is viewed as a year round draw with its southern exposure providing winter sun and that terrace drop off actually serving as a buffer from the prevailing winds off the lake, allowing Clevelanders to make the most of the river beyond the flats. It complements our vision that great cities need to have great waterfronts both on the lake and on the river. That's important to the Greater Cleveland Partnership because having that aids in their efforts to attract businesses to downtown Cleveland who won't come unless they can draw the talent to fill their jobs and young talent wants amenities like this project provides. This opportunity to really maximize the riverfront, connect it to Tower City Center, connect it to the city's core is really exciting. It's really what we need. It is a 15 to 20 year plan, yes, and the folks at Bedrock say their work begins tomorrow, working with the city on more planning and engineering as far as when the public might see physical work. I would suspect that 2020, 2024 is when you would actually actively see some real physical movement, if you will, around the riverfront, assuming everything goes well. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.